Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at MDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. As elections draw near, politicians usually engage in making promises and convincing the electorate that they indeed can deliver on the promises. They do this by selling themselves as men of integrity whose words can be trusted. More often than not, we find out that most politicians can't live up to their promises or even to their own description of themselves. One politician who matches his words with action and lives up to what he says is the PDP governorship candidate for Delta State, Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari. He describes himself as a pan-Deltan and a unifier. Last week in Wari Delta State, Oborewari put on display his capacity to unify as he brought together two warring factions within the PDP. Solomon Ahuinahui is a two-time member of the Federal House of Representatives who wants to return for a third term on the platform of the People's Democratic Party PDP for Ugeli Udu Federal Constituency. Talib Tebite, a two-time member of the Delta State House of Assembly, is also desirous of going to the Federal House of Representatives for the same constituency. On the 22nd of May last year, Tebite won the PDP primaries for the federal constituency, beating Ahuinahui by 34 votes to 30. Ahuinahui petitioned the National Working Committee, NWC, of the PDP, which cancelled the primaries and ordered a rerun. That rerun was won by Ahuinahui with a total of 80 votes. Tebite approached Anasaba High Court to invalidate the primaries and declare him the duly elected candidate. The court promptly obliged, forcing Ahuinawi to approach a court of appeal and indeed later the Supreme Court. Both courts gave judgments in favor of Ahuinawi as the candidate for the Ugeli Udu Federal Constituency. In spite of this judgment, supporters of both candidates and indeed the candidates themselves were at daggers drawn. With the likelihood of one party doing everything possible to frustrate the victory of the other, seeing the crisis-prone situation, the man who continuously describes himself as a unifier, Right Honorable Sharif Uberewori, stepped in. I'm a unifier, I'm a pandetta. I'm a unifier, I'm a unifier, I'm a unifier. The importance of this hosting is for our two brothers, for them to fuse together, their people to fuse together. We are here for this family to come together. The family has been divided, but it has to come together. The family of Honorable Talib Tebite and Solomon Akunakui, they are from the same federal constituency. Yes, primary has come and gone. We have to move forward. Oborevo re successfully reunited Ahuinahui and TBT. These two brothers must come together and work together. Please join. Ogana Woluna Weyeye Kebe. Osole Brugwa Woluna Weyeye Kebe. I'm happy. Very, very happy. The two PDP stalwarts pledged their continuous loyalty to the PDP and thanked Oborewori for his kind intervention. Sheriff Oborewori, the incoming governor, has spoken well and he has said it. I hope that everything is good by now and by his grace, PDP will win all the elections in the state. Oborewori that I know is the best for data. With him, things will be better for us. We will support all the PDP candidates for them to take over. Thank God, Solomon is here. We give thanks to God. Solomon, do you your way? On the moment. But the boy has got to have a I know that. I'm a battle. I'm a battle. Ovie Ogene Karo, president of the Urobo Progress Union, UPU, Lagos chapter, also thanked Oborewori for unifying the Warren brothers. There was a crack, but what he did today has unified the PDP once again in Ugeli North, Ugeli South, and Udu Federal Constituency. 
Right Honorable Borewori, a devout Christian and a man of peace who openly practices politics without bitterness, says he will unify all Deltans through his more agenda that will promote the sustenance of peace and security among all Deltans. Inside the Niger Delta, 